It's my great pleasure to welcome all of you here today to this chapel at the heart of Trinity College, a space where Ian studied and continues to be a special place for him. And today is about to become even more special as we gather here to celebrate the wedding of Ian and Faye. We're going to begin by singing together the first hymn that they have chosen, Lord of all hopefulness.
God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. The congregation may be seated. I read now the preface to the marriage service, which sets out what we are here to do today. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Ian and Faye, to ask God's blessing on them and to share in their joy. Our Lord Jesus Christ was himself a guest at a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and through his spirit, he is with us now. The Bible teaches us that marriage is a gift of God in creation and a means of his grace, a holy mystery in which man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love throughout their lives, they shall be united in that love as Christ is united with his church. Marriage is given that husband and wife may comfort and help each other, living faithfully together in need and in plenty, in sorrow and in joy. It is given that with delight and tenderness, they may know each other in love and through the joy of their bodily union may strengthen the union of their hearts and lives. It is given as the foundation of family life in which children may be born and nurtured in accordance with God's will to his praise and glory. In marriage, husband and wife belong to one another and they begin a new life together in the community. It is a way of life that all should honour, and it must not be undertaken carelessly, lightly, or selfishly, but reverently, responsibly, and after serious thought. This is the way of life, created and hallowed by God, that Ian and Faye are now to begin. They will each give their consent to the other, they will join hands and exchange solemn vows, and in token of this, they will each give and receive a ring. Therefore, on this, their wedding day, we pray with them that, strengthened and guided by God, they may fulfil his purpose for the whole of their earthly life together. First, though, I am required to ask anyone present who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it. Ian and Faye, the vows you're about to take are to be made in the presence of God, who is judge of all and knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. Okay. So, Ian, will you take Chan Fei to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. Jan Fei, will you take Ian to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. And now I ask all of you, will you, the families and friends of Jan Fei and Ian, support and uphold them in their marriage now and in the years to come. Amen. Wonderful. And a prayer. God, our Father, from the beginning you have blessed creation with abundant life. Pour out your blessings upon Ian and Faye, that they may be joined in mutual love and companionship, in holiness and commitment to each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are now going to have our first reading. You two sit down. <laughs> if Ian can find a way. <laughs> if I speak in tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions 
And if I hand over my body so that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish things. For now we could see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide. These three, and the greatest of these, is love. One of the wonderful uh, privileges of being the chaplain here at Trinity is being able to do weddings in the chapel. Uh, and the weddings here are all for people who studied here or who work here. And that means I get uh, wonderfully glorious international weddings just like today, and it's very good to welcome so many of you who have come from afar to be here. The weddings use the same words. We often have the same reading, that lovely reading we've just had from Corinthians. And yet, of course, each wedding is unique because each wedding is about two individuals who have been shaped by the lives that they've lived and who have found each other and have decided that they want to commit the rest of their life to each other. And out of these two unique individuals, today Ian and Faye, comes a new relationship, something that is forged out of their two lives and becomes something that is stronger and greater because they each have each other. In a moment, they will make their vows to each other. The vows remind us that we do not know what life has ahead of us. They're going to promise for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. We're all going to pray really hard that there's plenty of better, richer and healthier for them. But we also know that life is unpredictable and that we will all experience ups and downs, joys and sorrows, good times and difficult times. And what Ian and Faye are going to promise is that through the good times and through the difficult times, they will do their utmost to love and to cherish each other. And I love that word cherish to cherish means to hold as precious. So today, Ian is promising that he will always hold Faye as precious. Someone to be treasured, cared for, celebrated, and looked after. And Faye will promise to hold Ian as precious. Someone for her to care for, to enjoy, to delight in. And the wonderful thing about a happy marriage is if you are able to love and cherish each other, each of you is able to be more the person that you're meant to be because you have that support and strength and foundation of that love. And the wonderful thing about love is the more love we have, the more love there is to share. So what we pray today is that the two of you will have strength to love and cherish each other. And because of that, there'll be love flowing out from your home into the places where you work, into the families that you have, 
into the community around you because love is something that grows the more we have of it. And that reading from the Bible reminds us that we're talking about a love that isn't all about emotion and lightheartedness. It's about commitment. It's about patience and faithfulness and bearing with each other and looking out for each other. And that's the love that endures. So today we celebrate what has brought you two together. We give thanks for the love of the families and friends who have shaped you and made you who we are, you are. We pray for the love that you are committing yourselves to. And we do all of this in the sight of God. God who has faith in you, hope for you, and deep love for you. Praying that through all that life brings, God's love will sustain and surround you. Amen. We stand and we sing our next hymn, Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer. I now invite you to join hands and make your vows in the presence of God and his people. Okay. I, Ian, I, Ian, take you, Jan Fay, take you, Jan Fay, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Okay, so you let go and take same hands. Same hands. Lovely. 
I, Jan Fei. I, Jian Fei. Take you in. Take you in. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Prayer of blessing for the wedding rings. Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to Jianfei and Ian, a symbol of unending love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vow and covenant which they have made this day, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Jianfei, I give you this ring. Jianfei, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Ian, I give you this ring. Ian, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give it to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share it with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Jianfei and Ian have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, for you have created joy and gladness, pleasure and delight, love, peace and fellowship. Pour out the abundance of your blessing upon Ian and Jianfei in their new life together. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, awake and asleep, in joy and in sorrow. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace, that you may please him both in body and soul, and living together in faith and love, may receive the blessings of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Can you stand up? <laughs> okay, you may now kiss the bride, and we can give them a clap. Can you just move them in? The fierce dinosaur was trapped inside his cage of ice. Although it was cold, he was happy there. It was, after all, his cage. Then along came the lovely other dinosaur. 
the lovely other dinosaur melted the dinosaur's cage with kind words and loving thoughts. I like this dinosaur, thought the lovely other dinosaur. Although he is fierce, he is also tender and he is funny. He is also quite clever, though I will not tell him this for now. I like this lovely other dinosaur, thought the dinosaur. She is beautiful and she is different and she smells so nice. She is also a free spirit, which is a quality I much admire in a dinosaur. But he can be so distant and so peculiar at times, thought the lovely other dinosaur. He's also overly fond of things. Are all dinosaurs so overly fond of things? But her mind skips from here to there so quickly, thought the dinosaur. She's also uncommonly keen on shopping. Are all lovely other dinosaurs so uncommonly keen on shopping? I will forgive this peculiarity and his concern for things, thought the lovely other dinosaur, for they are part of what makes him a richly charactered individual. I will forgive her skipping mind and her fondness for shopping, thought the dinosaur, for she fills our life with beautiful thoughts and wonderful surprises. Besides, I'm not unkeen on shopping either. Now the dinosaur and the lovely other dinosaur are old. Look at them. Together they stand on the hill, telling each other stories and feeling the warmth of the sun on their backs. And that, my friends, is how it is with love. Let us all be dinosaurs and lovely other dinosaurs together, for the sun is warm and the world is a beautiful place. We're now going to offer our thoughts and prayers for Ian and Faye as they begin their married life together. Do you want to kneel down? Yeah. Well done. Firstly, we have a moment of quiet for each of you to offer your own particular thoughts and prayers. Giving thanks for what these two people mean to you and all your thoughts and hopes for their future. So we pray, faithful God, holy and eternal, source of life and spring of love, we thank and praise you for bringing Faye and Ian to this day, and we pray for them, Lord of life and love. Hear our prayer. May their marriage be life-giving and lifelong, enriched by your presence and strengthened by your grace. May they bring comfort and confidence to each other in faithfulness and trust. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. May the hospitality of their home bring refreshment and joy to all around them. May their love overflow to neighbours in need and embrace those in distress. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. May they discern in your word, order and purpose for their lives. And may the power of your Holy Spirit lead them in truth and defend them in adversity. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. May they nurture their family with devotion. See children grow in body, mind and spirit and come at last to the end of their lives with hearts content and in joyful anticipation of heaven. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. And so as our Saviour has taught us, together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. We stand to sing our final hymn.
And so rejoicing in the love that we are celebrating today for Ian and Faye. We rejoice in all of our relationships and ask that God bless each of us in, and those whom we love. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.